Oh yeah, well that has to do with the renal threshold, is that uh, let's say, for instance, if, if that study that shows that there is a maximum effect at two grams a day, uh, that, that just means that if you take over that amount, it, it is spilling out in the urine, you see. Uh, but it was in the bloodstream to get there. But now, if then there is some black hole in the body's metabolism somewhere where there's generating huge amounts of free radicals, then that extra dose of ascorbate will go down that hole, you might say, rather than going out in the urine. I mean, quite obviously, if a, the average person gets diarrhea, now see, when they take an overload of vitamin C, first of all, most of it goes out in the urine, but finally it gets to the point where it creates diarrhea and you're losing it through the stool but so that if the average person with a strong stomach is getting diarrhea at 10 to 15 grams per 24 hours, but then that same person can take 200 grams when they've got mononucleosis without diarrhea. Obviously, this is going somewhere, and we think what it's doing is neutralizing the free radicals generated by the disease process. So that all of these studies that, that are working with people who are well just don't have anything to do with this thing that we're talking about and with the treatment of disease. It's, it's the people who are sick that should be studied and find out what the devil is happening with these huge doses of vitamin C when you're sick.